Hey guys, what is going on? Booster Kings here with another video. And in today's video, we are going to be working on the Falcon. This, this girl right here, I'm hitting things, I'm hitting the pram. Yeah, we're going to be working on the Falcon. As you can see, the rear diffuser is off at the moment. Look at how nice that looks. Such a good looking car. Anyways, the rear diffuser is off at the moment. It's over here. I might give that a quick, quick little tidy up just because it's a bit, a bit dirty and that all of that stuff came out of it. So I'm gonna give it a quick clean up. But this will be for sale. I'm not going to be keeping that because I'm getting a different diffuser. As well as this, this came in the other week. This was supposed to be here like midway through this week. And it's already, hey there's Luke. And there's already, um, I got a splitter. So there's already the splitter, the front splitter because the other one, if you guys did see, it came off. Just before the track day, so I ripped it off completely. And yeah, we're going to be, I'll probably give it a clean up as well because it's got so much dust on it. So much dust. But yeah, we still got side skirts, so much dust. After the track day or the day of the track day, there was so much dust in the air that it just destroyed everything. But yeah, we will be, yeah, let's get into it. So I've moved the car in. Firstly, we're gonna have to get, I had to get some tools out of the van over there and we're gonna get the front bumper off. I'm gonna mock up that other splitter because it actually looks really, really good. So I'm very, very keen to put that one on and get this car looking a bit lower. And then I have some, I got, I got some good parts coming. So I got a new diffuser here with some of this stuff. This is um, like that trimming that you can get yourself. Um, I saw it on one of the one of Jean's customers, and you put it, you put the trimming like there. But yeah, and then you get the new diffuser. So I'm keen on that. I'm very very keen on that. So currently got the bumper off, as you can see, just down there. Got the full bumper off. Look at that big intercooler. Nice looking. But yeah, just over here. Looks pretty cool. And then we got that, the rear off. I was really hoping that the rear diffuser would show up today. It was supposed to, but as you know, COVID is a bit weird as of lately. And yeah, it's just not gonna be here right now. So I'm gonna leave the rear diffuser off until that gets here and just use the car. I usually just use it for a weekender, but I'll put, if I've got to drive it around, I'll just leave it off because that doesn't affect anything. It just looks a bit ugly back there. It looks kind of tough, honestly. It just looks, uh, it, it looks pretty tough. <laughs> not gonna lie. So at the moment, I'm just, I've just got the hose out. I'm just gonna hose this one down because this is, it's quite disgusting. Like it's got so much dust on it, as you guys, as you guys can probably see, look at all the dust. It's just, I'm gonna hose, yeah, that's disgusting. So I'm gonna hose this down, let it dry off, wipe it down a bit, and then use some of this. It's interior cleaner, but it seems to just shine up everything. It's done it for this. Like, cause all of this stuff used to be like clogged up and now that's super shiny. It's just this stuff. It's the vinyl leather rub. It's been decent to me so far, so I'm just gonna use it again. And uh, yeah, so we'll clean up that guy. <sighs> There's lots of things I need to do, but dinner is definitely one. So I'm gonna give this a clean and then let this set for a bit. So I've just cleaned this up a little bit and it's come up a lot better. And then I put that, 
It's just like that leather stuff on it. I'm gonna leave that on for a little bit and then either wash it off or rub it in. I'm just using a detailer's towel because I've been using this on everything so far. So I'll rub this off and it'll give it more of the wet look because I had like some drying out and that aging obviously. So we'll give it that wet look and see how she goes. But it's mainly just for looks. That has come up so much better. Check that out. Considering what it looked like before, that just looks so much better. Hopefully it will stay like this. I know it'll obviously dry out a little bit, but hopefully it'll stay like that. That looks actually insanely different. I should do this part as well. I know you won't be able to see this part, but it just, it'll look really, really nice. I absolutely love this setup now at this new place. It's so nice. I've got my own garage. I just brought, so I used to have this underneath my underneath my computer chair and now I got my old big one that I got back from where I was storing all my play, all my like couches and everything and yeah I just got this so that's gonna live underneath the car in case I gotta go under or in case there's any oil leaks which it doesn't really matter this is this is alright but we're gonna work on that on here so it doesn't scratch anything like it matters because this is pretty beat up and I can't wait this is only temporary but I can't wait to get the F6 front because that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm probably going to do with this one. I'm going to see how it goes and get the Panderized F6 front. I cannot wait. I absolutely love the front of that car. We'll see how this turns out because I do have some issues with... All right. It was a bit low and I snapped off one of the bolts here or one of the mounting bolts. As you can see, there wasn't one on that side, and there is one on this side, so I snap one of those off, and it just doesn't, it doesn't really push in properly as best as I want it to. Probably get a couple more badges for this as well, because it's got no badges. Probably get like the little XR6. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. L let me know what you guys think. If you guys want me to put that on, or we'll see how it goes. And I've just got some old parts in here. Uh, these are off my... Ford Focus ST back in the day. I've got a uh, K and an, oh, that's a stock air filter. That one can go in the bin. I don't even. This is this stuff I haven't seen in a while, and I haven't even been through this in a while. So I've got the K and M filter. That's <laughs> so that's the old air box because I got a new one. Really cold air intake on my old car. Uh, oh. We've got some wheel, wheel spaces on here. These are 25s. They would be for a Ford Focus. Got some wheel nuts. So I've got some new ones. What's this? Um, not even sure what that is. Most of this stuff could probably just go in the bin. There's some random, random bolts and caps. And then just some washers and, and stuff, yeah. A bit useless. Some more stuff down there. Yeah. This, this, oh, and I've got my under tray over here for this. I don't think I'm going to put that back on. I've got no, no idea where any of the mountings are or where any of the hardware is for it. So I'm just going to leave that off completely. And then, yeah, we should be able to put this new one straight on. So this splitter here is the one off eBay. I cannot remember who it is. It's like Mr. Body something. I'll put it in the description below of this splitter itself. I don't think we'll get time to do the diffuser, so we'll just leave that off for now and get this one all done and then we'll probably clean up the car in the next video because it is getting quite, quite dark outside very fast. It doesn't look like it, but yeah, it's probably about 5.30. And that gets pretty dark pretty quickly. So the way that this one works is it's just, just got um because there's a a rise in it here from this point to this point. So that compensates for it right there. And then they're just made like that. So they clip in, they compensate for that rise just there. And then the same on the other side. Right here. So that'll just sit there and that'll taper around the side perfectly like that let's get this on the car it also comes with all the hardware that you need
it, I mean, it looks pretty sick. Check that one out. It's gonna look pretty decent on the car. It's pretty aggressive, not gonna lie. Bit bigger than the other one I used to have. But it looks sick. So keen to see how it looks on the actual car itself. So we'll get all of that put back together, just the front bumper on, and we'll see how it looks. It's starting to look way better. I wonder, because if you, I don't know if you guys can notice, but there is a little bit of a bow right in the middle here. So just there. I wonder if I can pull that up a little bit, take some screws out and just pull it up the slightest little bit. Maybe I've done it a bit low in the middle or a bit high over here, I'm not sure. I don't know, it seems pretty sick. Very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Check that out. Actually looks so good. So this is the end product. Not bad at all. It's very much more aggressive. But hey, it's going to look decent. I can't wait to see it during the day. I might go get some fuel. I'm running, running a little low. I've got 77 Ks to the tank left, so I might have to refuel up. But that's all right. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Stay tuned for the diffuser going on. I can't wait. I'm just going to leave it off for now. And it's going dark outside. Yeah, I'm just going to leave the diffuser off for now. You probably can't even see it. Yeah, should be fun. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.